be sober and hope El Pizzo. Wouldn't that make a good television show? Ten tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you El Pizzo. Boy, what's that? Oh, just wait and see. El Pizzo, Aris Active Imperative. Now this Aris tense, boy, I hope I can explain this Aris. This is one of the four kinds of Aris tense. Now picture this in an Aris. Picture this. Space, point, space, point, space, point, space, point, space, point. You know what it means? The same aorist tense is used in Ephesians 2.10. Now, Ephesians 2.10 says, We are his workmanship, created unto God to produce divine good. Not works, but divine good. And thank God, in Ephesians 2.10, they use this aorist that had the space between the dots. You know Why? Because it gives you liberty to rebound when you fail. You're, you're walking, you're making progress, but you mentally fail, you emotionally fail, you verbally fail. And it says, okay, don't go back, recover. Okay, I recovered. Okay, now keep going. You might fail again, stop, recover, keep going. When I saw that heiress many years ago, I thought, isn't God good to use that heiress in Ephesians 2.10? Don't you think he is? He made provision for recovery so you don't have to backslide. You're receiving a, a special illumination from the written word through the living word, the Holy Spirit bringing in the written word with categorical doctrine, and you're receiving it, and when you hear the word from a finished work perspective of hope, it brings into your life grace. Why don't you like that type of teaching? It doesn't bring in condemnation, guilt complexes, reinforce insecurity. When you hear categories from the finished work perspective, they bring in grace. To live pure and clean and to be relaxed and to be filled with God's Spirit.